This transition of authority, in which I have participated a number of times, is beautiful in its simplicity. It is indicative of the way the Lord does things. Under his procedure, a man is selected by the prophet to become a member of the Council of the Twelve Apostles. He does not choose this as a career. He is called, as were the apostles in Jesus' time to whom the Lord said, Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you. The years pass. He is schooled and disciplined in the duties of his office. He travels over the earth in fulfilling his apostolic calling. It is a long course of preparation in which he comes to know the Latter-day Saints wherever they may be, and they come to know him. The Lord tests his heart and his substance. In the natural course of events, vacancies occur in that council, and new appointments are made. Under this process, a particular man becomes the senior apostle. Residing latent in him and in his associate brethren, given to each at the time of ordination, are all of the keys of the priesthood. But authority to exercise those keys is restricted to the president of the Church. At his passing, that authority becomes operative in the senior apostle, who is then named, set apart, and ordained a prophet and president by his associates of the Council of the Twelve. There is no electioneering. There is no campaigning. There is only the quiet and simple operation of a divine plan which provides inspired and tested leadership. 